The next examination of the nervous system is the sensory examination. Sensory examination is a little bit tricky because you have to know the technique properly and it really depends on the patient's response. We have different sensory modalities that we should look for. We examine pain and temperature, we examine vibration and proprioception, and you can also do the touch. I will quickly go through these um, uh, sensory modalities with different techniques. I will do the upper limbs first and then I will quickly demonstrate the lower limbs. I will start with um, uh, pain and temperature. For pain, you can use the uh, toothpick, which should be uh, sharp, disposable, that you can use it once and then you throw it away. Try to avoid needles because you may, first of all, you may um, injure a patient or a subject and you do want to spread whatever this subject is, happen have, is having to the other subject through um, um, uh, blood uh, needle stick. So we will always use a disposable uh, toothpick. Here I will do um, temperature for the pain. It is the same thing. Um, you ca for temperature, you can use any cold or hot item. Usually cool is better than hot because it is better tolerated by the subject or by the patient. Um, I put this in a, a, a ice water and it is now cold. So I will use it as my cold uh, uh, instrument to examine the temperature. I will again examine the upper limbs and then I will do the lower limbs. You have to always start with control, like an area that you teach the patient what is to expect as a sensation. Because I'm examining the upper limbs, I can use either the, the forehead or the chest as my control. Hamad, you feel this? Is it cold? Yeah. yeah it's cold. So now, you feel that? Yeah. Okay. Now close your eyes. You have to get the subject or the patient eyes closed because this is sensory. I start distal and then I go all the way proximal. You remember the temperature and yeah. you, you learn it now. I'm going to examine the limbs uh, starting with the hand, okay? And I will do both sides. Okay? So, if it's cold? Yeah. Yeah. Is it cold? Yep. Yeah. Is it cold is, if I go up? Yeah. It's still uh, to be cold. Did it change? No. Okay. Now we'll do the other side. <coughs> Again, I start distal. Is it cold? Yeah. Yeah. If I go up, is yes. it getting any cooler or different or the same? It's the same. It's the same. So, thank you. So, this is a quick screening way to look for temperature sensation. Um, normally, you should be able to feel the same degree of, uh, of uh, cold sensation as in the control. And when I put it on his arms, it would be the same uh, feeling from distal all the way to proximal. Pathologically, you may find um, um, increased sensation of the temperature as I go more proximal, because usually sensory abnormalities, the most common pattern is uh, distal more than proximal involvement. So this is the pathological response. But here, uh, this is a normal subject. He has the same cold temperature, distal as well as uh, proximal and similar to the uh, control. If you want to do the, a sharp item with a toothpick, you can teach him the control first, either forehead uh, um, or chest, and then eyes closed, and then you feel that you run your sharp item distal to proximal, looking for the same response or more pain if you go more proximal, and you should compare right to left. The next modality is uh, vibration and proprioception. And I will do now vibration in the upper limbs. For the vibration sensation, you can use uh, 128, 265, or 512 frequency uh, tuning fork. I'm using here 128 uh, tuning fork. Um, again, to start with, I have to do my control first, and then I go to my area of interest. When you ex uh, use the tuning fork, make sure you, you, you hold it from the handle. You don't hold it from the fork itself because you will kill the vibration if you hold it this way. So the correct way is to hold it from the handle. Now, I will show you the, the exact technique now. Hamad? Uh, test. Vibration. Vibration. Ihtizaz, vibration. Yeah. So now I'm going to examine the arms. Can you close your eyes? So he know now what to expect, which is a vibration. Make sure he feels the vibration, not the pressure. Not the pressure pushing the skin. It is a vibration, and he was able to recognize the vibration. Ahmed? So, how much does it Vibration. Tell me when it stops. 
I feel it, he feels it, Hamid. Do you yeah. still have it? Yeah. I still feel the vibration. I'm comparing my threshold to his threshold. So stop. Stop now? Yeah. And it stopped uh, in my hand. So again, my threshold is comparable to his threshold. It stopped at the same time uh, uh, he felt it, uh, that it stopped, which means a normal vibration threshold, which means normal vibration sensation distally. For the vibration, once it is normal distally, you don't have to go uh, proximal because it is going to be normal proximal. Again, usually the sensory abnormalities are start, do they start usually distal and then start to affect proximal. I should compare that aside, Ahmed, do the same side. So I'm putting my tuning fork on a bone, distal uh, digit. Um, Hamid, yeah. feel it? Yeah. And I still feel it? It's just stopping up. It's to, and it stopped, as uh, my, my feeling. Um, for the pathological vibration sensation, uh, patient may have impairment to the vibration distally, and then you should go proximal. Whenever you go proximal, always make sure you put your tuning fork over a bone, because remember, vibration runs through a bone. So if it is impaired here, I go over the wrist, over the bone, I go over the distal fore, uh, forearm, and then mid forearm, and then the elbow, and so on. Until I get to the area where his vibration threshold is equal to mine. And then I would say, it is an impairment vibration sensation up to whatever level you picked. But here I do have a normal vibration sensation bilaterally. The last sensory modality that I'm going to demonstrate here in the upper limbs is the proprioception, or the joint position sense. Muhammad, open your eyes. Usually, you have to do it at the distal. When you hold the finger or the toes, when I show you the lower limbs, hold it from the sides, because you are going to flex and extend the distal um, a part of the finger. If you hold it from here, he will be able to feel the pulling of the tendons. But if you may hold it from the side, this is very important, you may minimize this mechanical impact on the to, uh, finger movement. Look at this. I'm going, this is the movement down. Okay. This is up. Okay. I'm going to move the finger here. Close your eyes. So again, his eyes are closed. Now? Down. Okay. Now? Down. Now? Up. Now? Down. Now? Up. Now? Up. Okay. You can. You, you should be able to do a few random movements, and he should be able to pick all these movements. He was able to pick all the movements, so this is a normal proprioception on the right. I should do the same on the left. Again, the hold from the sides. I could do the same here. Huh? Now? Down. Now? Down. Now? Down. Now? Down. Now? Down. Now? Down. Now? Up. Now? Up. Okay, you try to be random. He was able to pick all the movements. Sometimes because he was able to pick the large movement, we may, and if you suspect there's an impairment of the vibration and perception sensation, you may do a small movement. We'll do it again. No? Down. No? Down. No? Up. Okay. And he will be able to elicit uh, and pick all these movements. If he is impaired at the distal, at the, at the fingers, you should do it over the joint. because It is a joint position, and you can do rest, if he's normal, that's it. If he's impaired, you should do over the elbow. It's and even over more the shoulder. It is uncommon to find impairment more proximal, but you may see it. Make sure you give a comment at the level where he was able to recognize the movement over whatever joint you examined. So here now we have normal vibration, normal proprioception sensation bilateral in the upper limbs. There's a normal uh, pain and temperature. You can screen for touch using a um, tissue paper, teach him the control first, and then close his eyes, and you can just run your tissue paper distal to proximal, looking for the same movement, uh, the same sensation, uh, distally to proximal. And I'm not going to demonstrate it because this is uh, uh, easy to explain, easy to do. I will now demonstrate the sensory examination in the lower limbs. I will do it very quick because we have done it already in the upper limbs. I examine pain, temperature, vibration, proprioception. I will start with the temperature. This is again cold. Muhammad. This is my uh, control. Bada? Yeah. Cold? Mm. Again, cold? Yeah. One of them is enough. I will do both. Now close your eyes. I will start distal and I go proximal. Muhammad. Cold? Aye. Cold? Aye. If I go up, Aye. the same the same temperature. Yeah. It's not getting colder or warmer. Yeah. And you have to go up. Yeah, fall, uh, uh, assuming he had 
exposure, but this is adequate exposure. So it is the same temperature, Muhammad. Yeah. You do that aside, Muhammad, close your eyes. It start this time, Muhammad, cold. Yeah. Cold. Yeah. It's the same if you go up. Yeah. It is not getting cooler or warmer, no. Thank you. So this is a normal temperature in the lower limbs. I can do the pinprick again with the sharp uh, toothpick, get to the control. He feels it sharp, and then he, his eyes are closed. And then I go distal, and I just keep poking him gently, of course, to look for the temp uh, pain sensation that should be the same throughout, from distal to proximal, as well as uh, on the control, on the control area. Uh, vibration, I'll do the same quickly. What do you feel? Vibration. Vibration? Okay, now we'll do it in the lower limbs. Close your eyes. I will go at the toes distally. You feel it? Yeah. And I still feel it? You feel it, Ahmed? Yeah. I still feel it? Stop now. Stop now, and it stopped, actually. So this is a normal vibration threshold. I should do that aside. Ahmed, the same story, you know? Yeah, it's fine. You feel it? Yeah. Sometimes people may try to get this stopped. I prefer to go that the uh, vibration, the tuning fork will go stop by itself. Stop. Because, you, thank you, and it stopped actually. Yeah. You are not looking at um, if he if it stops or not. You look at the smooth uh, stop of the vibration itself. Sometimes you may read there is a normal response of um, eight um, uh, seconds plus or minus. The idea here is to compare your uh, vibration threshold to his vibration threshold. So this is a normal vibration. I don't have to go any more proximal. Next is proprioception, Muhammad. Here I will move the toe. Again, I'm holding it from the sides. Muhammad, this is up, this is down. Now close your eyes. Close your eyes, Muhammad. No? Down. No? Up. No? Up. No? Up. Okay. No? Down. So this is a normal uh, proprioception. If you think, if you suspect a proprioception impairment, you can do a fine, smaller movement as we have done already on the upper limbs. I will do the other side, Mohammed. Down. No. Okay, now. Up. Now. Down. Now. Down. Okay, so this is a normal joint position since on the, uh, <coughs> on the other side. If it's impaired, if it's normal distal, you, you don't need to go any more proximal. If it's imp impaired distal, you can go at the ankle. If it's impaired, you can go at the knee, which is um, very unlikely, um, uh, very uncommon to find impairment but you have to do the proper technique in order to pick all these signs. Uh, for the um, uh, touch, you can use uh, um, tissue paper, go to the control and then eyes closed, and you try to slide your tissue paper distal to proximal, bilateral, both sides looking for the same sensation or different sensation. And this is the sensory examination in the lower limbs.